So I have this <laughs> really big box. It's pretty heavy too. And I've been eyeing this for a very long time. And I also have no idea what's inside. And I know that sounds weird, but I am a huge fan of the outdoor subscription boxes. I've been getting them every month for the past couple years. But the boxes I usually get are really small and they're only like $30. This one I found from Karen, which is also owned by Outside, if you can see right there. Um, this box I paid $250 for, and I know it's a lot to pay for something that you don't know what it is, but I've just been so curious, and I know I can go on YouTube and find videos like this and figure out what's inside, but this like makes it feel like Christmas, and I wanted to do it, and I also thought it would be a fun thing to make a video about, so... Here we are. So this was $250, like I said, and on the website it says the retail value of what's inside could be $300 to $350. And when I ordered this, I filled out a ton of questions like what size I am, my shoe size, my interests. So I really think this box will be catered to my interests. So it's really exciting. Let's get to opening it. This has been sitting by my front door for about three days now until I had a chance to sit down and film this video. So it just like, the anticipation was killing me. Whoa, oh, I can see everything right away. All right, so I'll take everything out one by one. Oh, this is so nice. The first thing I see is this pair of gloves from Kinko. And this is funny because my fiance has these same gloves and I just commented on them the other day. I was like, are those actually warm? I see a lot of people skiing with them. And he was like, yeah, they're awesome. So now I have my own pair. This is so cool. It's definitely not my style. We heat our house with a wood-burning stove, so carrying logs inside every day, I think this would be perfect for that. Maybe skiing. I work at a ski resort. I think I could get a lot of use out of these. This is a good one. Next, I have a Zippo heat bank. So this looks like it's a 2600 milliamp power bank, which is honestly not a lot of power. The ones I carry with me on the AT, I had a 13,000 one and a 5,000 one. So this is half the power of my smallest battery bank. But it also is like a hand warmer. So it's like a dual purpose piece of gear. It can keep your hands warm for up to three hours, which isn't a whole lot of time. A close up of what this looks like. This seems like a coffee mug, but it seems like a very fancy version of a coffee mug. It's called the Overlander. Seems like it's a travel French press. I've never really made coffee in the backcountry, but I think this would be neat. I do car camping about once a year, and I think this could really come in handy because when I do car camp, I usually just take like the instant coffee, pour it in hot water, and it's definitely not as good. Let's see if I can open this. Oh, uh, see? Add coarsely ground coffee and pour near boiling water over the grounds, then place the brew stop press screen on top with the plunger up. Wait three to five minutes, press down the plunger and enjoy. <laughs> Next, this looks like it's the coffee that you can put in the new coffee mug. Um, this is from Hiker's Brew. Three different types of coffee, a hazelnut, a dark roast, and a medium roast. Really cool packaging with that. So it's nice that they gave me the coffee mug, but also something I can use to make the coffee. So I don't have to like go out and get some just to use that. That's awesome. This thing looks huge. This is what <laughs> weighs so much. Ugh. I think this is the last thing. This is really heavy. This is a fire can portable fire pit. You can see what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna open this up. Wow. This is 
like, this is legit. I am so excited to take this on like a car camping adventure. I think Chet would really like this. That picture, you can kind of see it in use a little bit. It comes with a five foot propane hose with a propane regulator and a quick connection. Not 100% up my alley, but I think I will get some good use out of it. Out of all this stuff, I think I'm the most excited for these gloves and the mug. And I think I wanna try this out right now. So I usually drink my coffee iced, so I'm not usually used to hot drinks, but I think this will be really nice out in the woods, in my tent on a nice cold morning. So happy to have this in my gear set up now. So I decided to Google everything I just got in that box to see how much it was actually worth. So I'll share that with you. The portable fire pit retails for $199.95. So that's a lot more expensive than I thought it was. The coffee grounds, I couldn't find a three pack online, but a four pack retails for $14.99. The rechargeable hand warmer and power bank is $22.95. The travel French coffee press is $50 and the Kinko premium grade pig skin palm gloves are $24.99. So altogether, the box retails for $312 and I paid $250 for it. So it's like I got everything at 80% off. So although I had a ton of fun opening that box and getting all that new gear, I sort of wish it was a little better and more tailored to me because that is cool stuff and it would be really cool for like car camping, but I'm more of like a backpacker, through hiker, runner type of person so hopefully the next box can be catered more towards me it is a quarterly subscription box so it's 250 dollars a season and you'll get a new box every three months but you can cancel it at any time so i could cancel it right now and never get another box but i might give it one more shot so if you want to know in three months what is in my next box just leave a comment and maybe i'll do this video again so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.